Hi, this is David Taylor of DavidTaylorUK.com In this video I'm going to be adding Google Analytics to my profit billing platform page. So, first things first, I'm into the Google Analytics page and I'm going to add new profile. Just over here. And I'm going to add a profile for a new uh, domain. this key and the profile for the new domain for the site that I would like to track. Okay, and my profit pooler platform is Easy Cash Tools dot com. I don't have AdWords on it, neither will I. So I'll continue. So I'm tracking a single domain. So I'm just going to continue with that. Now, this is the, the line of code that you would use if you had, like for example, a plugin for a WordPress blog. But I'm going to be pasting this. Okay, so the following code, copy the following code and paste it onto every page you want to track immediately after the opening body tag. Okay, so the opening body tags. I'm going to keep that open. Then I'm going to go to my cPanel for Easy Cash Tools. Now I've already logged into that. Uh, if you want to log into a cPanel, basically it's your your website forward slash cPanel, and it'll ask you to log in. Okay, so that's got my login details. Go down here to File Manager. Click File Manager. Now again, this is only one way of doing it. This is just the way that I found to be fairly easy. Okay, go into the web route, public HTML or www, which will take me into the main page. Click go. Okay, so these are all the files on my page. Okay, so index htm, so that's the initial page. So I'm going to click that first of all. Okay, I'm going to put on a I'm going to put code on to the thank you page as well, but at the moment just going with the index. Up to the top here we've got an HTML e editor. Right, so you don't need to bother too much with uh, having to download one, so click the HTML editor. Ok, you get this page. It tells you about here about please select the character encoding to open this file. We have attempted to auto detect the encoding, this is not foolproof. I'm no great expert on that at all, so I'm just going to go with their opinion, much better than mine, and click edit. And it'll bring you up uh, an editor. Okay, follow down to the bottom where it says source. This is where we can edit the HTML. Okay, so this is the code for the page. Ok, back to Google Analytics. And I'm going to do a right click, select all, right click, copy, back, so remember it's immediately after the opening body tag. Back to editing my HTML, and First time you see body, this here. So immediately after the opening body, so just click after body, hit return, we get another line, right click, right, okay, I should have a paste there. Just know what I'm after. Okay, in that case, I'm going to do control. V. Okay, if you have a Mac, it's the command and V. Not quite sure why that didn't work. Okay, so that has put in the tracking code for the Google Analytics. Okay, head back to design. See so that the page hasn't changed very much. 
back up to the top. See the wee disc, and I'll just save that. So the file saves. So we can either go back to the file manager, continue editing index. So what I'd like to do is just check that. This is just a check. Back to source. And here we have after the body script type javascript and that's my google analytics so I'm now quite happy with that back to the design and I'm going to close that back to the file manager cancel now I'm going to put my code on the thank you page. This will tell me how long people are staying in the thank you page as well. HTML editor. Edit. That's my page that shows the video. The preview button down the bottom there will show you how it actually looks. instantly starts to play the video. Cancel. So let's go back to design. Ok, that cuts the video. It's in there somewhere. Source. Find the initial body. There it is. Ok, that's the initial body tag. Now, on this initial body tag, it has slightly more. Ok. But after the tag is the arrow. So you wouldn't put it here. You would not put it here. Okay? The after the body tag has to be every tag finishes with a, a right arrow. Okay? So it's not you wouldn't you wouldn't place it here. Okay, that is not after the body tag. You have to keep going along until you find the first right arrow which is here. So that is after the body tag. Return. And again, I'm not quite sure why a right click doesn't work here. Okay, because I want to insert. So what I'm going to do now is do again Control V. Okay, and that puts the, the script in again. Okay, so that tracks the page views and how long people actually stay on the page. Back to design. Again, nothing has happened. Save. Okay. Back to the file manager. Okay, so those are the pages that I'm interested in. I can now close that. Okay, now it's not uncommon to see the, the phrase there, tracking not installed. And until the analytics catches up and that, uh, that phrase will stay there, possibly up to a day. So it's worth just checking it and I'll show you now how to check it on your website to see that it's installed correctly. Ok, I'm now at my Profit Balloon platform uh, page which is easycashtools.com So you can just do that, go to your home page. I'm using Firefox, if you go up to the top menu and go along to view Click view and come down until you see page source. Click on page source and it opens a new window and it shows you the source of your page. Now if you remember I'd inserted the Google tracking code immediately after the opening body tag. Okay. So these this span span has that's been put in by the HTML editor itself. And from there down to there is my Google Analytics script. Ok, so I know that it's on. I know that it's there. Ok, any questions get in touch. This is David Taylor. I'll speak to you soon.